Another mission's happening that will occupy some other people. So to draw the attention of the people who already have bases out, although they could just be greedy and want more. That's the thing in Daisy, you don't want to be too greedy. Whereas I've just lost everything, so hopefully this all works out. <laughs> Probably not the right way to play it, but it's best not to be too greedy. So it's, I've got to keep that in mind at this mission. I just need to grab what I need and get out of there. I need to do it quick. I can just load everything inside of my backpack. I don't know what gun I should drop. I'm going to drop the Lapua since I've got no ammunition. I'm going to need ammunition for it, so I'll drop that so I can have at least 10 more spaces, which would be valuable because there's probably 10 cinder walls that are already pre-crafted. I need to look for the mission quite quickly. I think there's 10, 20 minutes. There's a fence. I don't know if that means anything. It's probably part of the map. I don't think there's anything to worry about with that. Make sure to take them a few shots to hit someone, unless they get lucky. And range it correctly. Then I'm in trouble if that base does have someone sniping. Working vehicle. Oh my goodness, no way. I thought it was going to be on the coastline. This time, I went straight towards where I thought it would be. Because the one on Panther was on the... Was on the... Coastline. Look at that. Garage door. Take two of those. I don't need the heat packs or anything since... Okay. Are there any roofs? I don't think there are. Um, drink that. Sweet clothing, don't need that. Okay. Sweet. I'm gonna take this golf. I don't know where the gas is. I think it disappeared. <laughs> it has been a server restart. Is there anything inside? Nope. Is it working? Yes. Maybe not. I'm getting out of here. Gonna run this way. So I think this is just randomized dependent on what it says that dropped. So if it was a aircraft that dropped it, then it would just be that. And then if it was a special forces lost it or something, then it would have different supplies and different types. So that's sweet. I can build a base now. <laughs> I just need a lockbox though. So I might wait. Because I can't really store anything. Because on server restart it'll just all disappear if I just leave it on the floor. I don't have a combination lock either. So we're going to check out the other mission. The building supply mission if they pop up. And see if there's different stuff. Otherwise um, I'll do the weapons and grab some weapons and then sell them. Everything should turn out well, hopefully. Okay, I'm gonna put down this tent just in case. Because there's a treasure hunt mission. 1600 meters, I think it was? Yeah. Just out from where my location is. So I'm gonna throw all of my gear inside that I don't wanna die with. So, really, all of these building supplies, and I've got 50 slots, so that's definitely enough. But I can hopefully get a briefcase out of this mission if nobody has taken it yet. I'm also gonna just put like everything just in case. Yeah, I might just throw everything inside and then hopefully get to this mission alive. I'll throw a DMR and a few magazines inside. Oh no, I might take the DMR with me. And then just put the Mark 48 in there. Yep, yeah, that seems right. Thinking I should have bring my ghillie for this. But I guess I would be shaking, so. It's a really good thing I didn't change out of clothes. 
Okay, so it should be anywhere in this radius. It really helps if you go to GPS. In this area, but there's a rather large base. It's huge. There's two huge bases in that compound. Just down there. Uh, to my left. Yeah, there you go. You can see the industrial. It's pretty much an industrial town. So, they would spawn cinder blocks, just engine parts, so vehicles and base building they would be set for. Okay, so anywhere here could be the mission. Or the crate at least. That's all I'm looking for, just a crate. I think one of the construction missions, or it was a a treasure hunt. I found the crate and then right at the last minute as I was running over to it, it disappeared as soon as I got there. Just quite unlucky. I was gonna watch out for players. I was got no clue where this could be. This is unknown terrain. I've never been in this part of the map. Well, down this valley. I would imagine it would be on flat ground, maybe. Well, I don't know where this mission went, but it did disappear. But I pretty much searched all up this mountain and down to the barrier down there on the perimeter. So my guess is it was probably back over there near the road. But probably more over that way where I didn't search. So I'm trying to head back to my vehicle if it's still there. Hopefully it is. And wait for the next mission. But all I need to do is just get a plot pole. Or just a lockbox. And then I can just get set up. Because if I find a lock pole, lock, uh, plot pole, <laughs> I can set down all of my walls and all that. And then craft a wooden shack that I can stick inside. So then I can just throw all my gear in that. Uh, without having a lockbox until I find one at least. So, guess my building supplies are safe, so that's not of a worry anymore. Less of a worry. I'm not sure when the next storm is gonna hit. It's been a bit longer than usual, so I don't, I don't know exactly. But at least I won't be over and overburdened. I was gonna say over encumbered. That's the same thing. <laughs> but... I think next time I leave my vehicle, I'll probably just remove the vehicle the wheels. Well, that's what I did last time. And I managed to stay in the same spot, and it was just on the side of a hill. Ah, oh, this is it. <laughs> so it's good to have a landmark or something if you ha don't have a GPS, or if you get to take the coordinates. So... Managed to take most of the AI at this mission. AI going down. <laughs> um, but I did take out the first, which was a bandit weapon cache. And now this one was a helicopter crash. I'm just making sure that all of them are dead. So it would be a shame if I died going into this. But I'm just going to check to see if that vehicle has uh, a lot of room. If not, I'll probably just put everything into my SUV. I don't know. Because these vehicles might disappear on restart. Which is a while away. It's like two hours away, I think. There was a bunch of building supplies at that mission. Uh, I managed to pick a few up and then just run back. Now, uh, because I need to get ammunition. Or at least just grab another sniper, which I found a DMR. I had an M14 aim and an M24. And I ran out of M24 magazines, can only bring five, I think. And there was 39 AI, I think. Jeez, that's a lot. Um, but I might just run over. Which is probably doing because it's a lot quicker. Because my car's parked like 200 meters away from my previous position just then. But at the moment, like, there's not many building supplies left because I have them all in my backpack. But there were quite a bit. So. This should be good. And then I'll be on to base building because I have a plot deed and you need one to base build. So I'm going to buy a safe, put everything inside, and yeah, everything should work out well.
Well, there's actually a building supply mission just there. But I think it's just wood. But these ones had cinder block walls, which was awesome. So it'd be indestructible. Nobody can hatch it through them. <laughs> but you can't blow them up with satchel charges, but they're extremely rare to find. I'm just gonna double check there's no AI. No AI left. Okay, making sure they haven't gone back up. Okay. I think I should be good now, but I will grab these weapons. I just need to see how much room is inside of here. Hopefully there's a lot. Hopefully it's decent. Um, cargo check. 10? Oh, 90 items, but... How much is in this? 25. Okay, it looks like we're taking this. And... 5 weapon slots? Oh no, that's the wrong one. Okay. Actually, how much fuel does it have? Yeah, it's got plenty. Okay, I'll be taking this. Um, and that's all like the building supplies and everything. So I'm just going to load everything inside. And then I'll keep the gold on me, actually. Oh no, I'll just load it in. I think there's more weapons than anything, so... Time to see what's inside of here. Whoa, M10 night vision scopes? Look at all of these weapons. Jackpot. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, there's no other crates, okay. Wow. Um. <laughs> can I lift vehicles? I don't know if I can. So I just quickly killed all the AI this other mission. So I'm just going to quickly do a few more missions and gather some gold. And if I don't have enough to buy a safe by the end, then I'm just going to store all of these supplies in a tent nearby. And then go and buy a a cargo vehicle, a cargo truck, and then just load everything in that. Um, and then everything should work out well, hopefully. Probably put that in there, yeah. And just all this ammunition. Intense, but I don't want to put uh, these. Since they're toolbot items, they count as weapons. So they take up the weapon slots, and I've got zero weapon slots remaining. So actually, one of these AI had an RPG strapped on his back. Which one? I'm not sure which one it was, but RPGs take up your backpack. The backpack slot, but you can also carry a primary. So to find out which one it is, I would really like to have my hands on one of those. To sell? Yeah, sure. Might as well have it to sell. Or to use. It's on one of them. 